I'm Raquel from the blog Out of the Past and I'm here to show you my physical media collection. So behind me in this cabinet and the cabinet to my left, I have over 800 movies on DVD, Blu-ray, and in box sets. Um, so I'm gonna show you absolutely everything. The only thing I'm not gonna include are just some VHS stragglers that I have around and for your consideration screeners. So these are just kind of finished um, discs, DVDs, and Blu-rays, and I have um, a few other goodies that I'll show you as well. So I won't, it won't be the complete 800 plus um, movies, but it'll be close to it. The two cabinets, I got these from Ikea, and the reason why I did closed cabinets rather than open shelving is that these, I wanted my Blu-ray and DVD collection to be near the television, um, in the living room, just made sense. Um, to have them there but I also needed to puppy proof the house so I figured um, my dog wouldn't be able to get into the blu-rays and dvds um, to chew on which I mean he's c completely outgrown any desire to chew on things that aren't his chew toys so this ended up just being really great to protect the movies while he was still a puppy um, and he hasn't been able to to get in there. And also I kitty cornered them in, in this corner of the living room so I could put our one lamp that's in the living room back there so he couldn't knock them over, knock it over and like start a fire. So this was all with puppy in mind. Um, but so I have these two cabinets from Ikea that I built myself and I um, bought them thinking that they were gonna be bigger. I saw another model, but I ended up with these, but they're fine. I ended up um, making it work with some media baskets from the container store, which I'll show you soon. And then at the top here, I have a stack of books. I have some TCM Classic Film Festival stuff. This is a Furbo, it's a dog camera. And then over here, I have movies um, that I, I recently acquired that I haven't put in my collection yet which I'll show you in a bit, a stack of Bachelor Mother DVDs and some movies from DVD Netflix to watch. So this is my first cabinet and this has 12 of these container store media baskets, six at the top and six at the bottom. And everything is arranged um, alphabetically by title and DVDs and Blu-rays are mixed in. And then in the corners here where I had some extra space, some of my longer DVD and Blu-ray box sets are, you know, fit in there so they can maximize the amount of space. So what I'm gonna do is take out each um, basket and I'll take out the box sets just to show you what's inside. Okay, in the first basket here we have 12 Angry Men, 36 Hours on Blu-ray, The 39 Steps, Criterion, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, 49th Parallel, All That Heaven Allows, I love that movie, All About Eve, Anatomy of a Murder, Angels in the Outfield, Ana Lucasta, which I talked about recently on my channel, Anne of Green Gables. You'll notice I have a lot, I have a lot of Warner Archive collection. Um, DVDs and some Criterion and a lot of Kino Lorber. The Arrangement, Aerosmith, Assignment in Brittany with Susan Peters, Baby Peggy, The Elephant in the Room, The Bad and the Beautiful on Blu-ray, Barefoot in the Park, The Barretts of Wimpole Street, Beauty for the Asking, Beggars of Life, Bells Are Ringing, and the Bells of St. Mary's. And what I did is I recently bought more of these baskets to fit more movies, and I keep these a little loose so I can fit a few extra movies in there, but um, eventually I'll have to space them out even more. Okay, next basket. Beyond a Reasonable Doubt Blu-ray. The Big Heat, The Big House, this has three movies in, inside of it. It's um, the English, French, and Spanish version. The Big Parade, The Big Shot, 
Blood on the Moon, Bombshell, The Boy with Green Hair. And you'll notice that um, there's a lot of um, repeats here because I recently did a Warner Archive haul and I posted it on my channel a little while ago. And for example, this is one of the movies I acquired then. So a lot of those movies will be in here too. Boys Night Out, Boys Town, Birdman of Alcatraz, The Black Windmill. I recently re read Michael Caine's um, memoir. It was really good. The Bride Walks Out, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Bright Road. I have some uh, more recent movies mixed in. This one is one of my favorites, Brokeback Mountain. Now I have, I have these out of order. Brother Rat. Brother Rat and the Baby. Bunny Lake is Missing. And Buona Sera, Mrs. Campbell. Okay, now we're into the seas. Cabin in the Sky. Cairo. Cape Fear. The Carry Treatment. This is, I've had this for a long time. Chicken Run. Children of Divorce this is a Flickr Alley Blu-ray. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. My boss gifted me this one. Cobra Woman. The Corn is Green. Come Fly With Me. Comet Over Broadway. Cop Out on Blu-ray. Coquette, The Crowd Roars, Cry Terror, Dancing Coed, Dancing Lady, Dark of the Sun on Blu ray, The Dawn Patrol, and this lovely film, Dear Heart. Now into the D's, E's, and F's. Desert Fury on Blu-ray. Design for Living, the Criterion Blu-ray edition. Desire Me. This was um, a disc my friend Casey got me. Let's open it up so you can see. This is Know My Darling Daughter, 1961. DOA, one of my favorite film noirs. Doctor, you've got to be kidding. Dr. Zhivago. I actually have a lot of reviews, so if you go to my blog, like I have a review of this movie, I have a review of this movie, so you'll find a lot of these um, I talked about on my blog. Double Harness. This is when um, TCM had their own TCM vault collection. Drifting and White Tiger. So there's two, two movies on this. The Drowning Pool on Blu-ray. The Easiest Way. Easy A. And you'll notice this is um, this is a Blu-ray I got when Blockbuster was going out of business. So I bought I bought quite a few. So I have some of those in my collection. Emma. Employee of the Month. Fail Safe. And uh, these a few of these pre-owned ones I got at a local um, video store. Fame, Father of the Bride, Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool, Finishing School, and The First Auto. Okay, on to the next one. A Fistful of Dynamite. It's also called um, Duck, You Sucker. Flashdance. For Love of Ivy, found at Mostly Lost, Volume 2. This is the Library of Congress. Um, they basically collect um, portions of movies, of silent movies, and they try to um, identify them with a group of experts. So see, some, some of these are the ones that I've been identified. The Friends of Eddie Coyle, Criterion. The Front Page. Funeral in Berlin, another Michael Caine movie. Fury, love this movie. The Gay Bride. 
Gentlemen prefer blondes. Oops, this is sliding out of its case. Giant. Gentleman Jim. The Girl from Jones Beach. Going Hollywood. Goodbye Again. Government Girl. The Great McGinty on Blu-ray. Hangover Square on Blu-ray. He Ran All the Way, which is a fantastic movie. Norman Lloyd, who recently passed away, is in this. And Heavenly Creatures, which is a movie I was obsessed with as a teenager. And moving right along, The Hellbenders on Blu-ray. Hell on Frisco Bay. Now I have Harper Twice. Harper on DVD. And Harper on Blu-ray. He's just not that into you. Hideout. Love this one. The High Commissioner, Highway Dragnet, His Kind of Woman, Hollywood, The Hollywood Review of 1929, Hold Back the Dawn, which my friend Faran gave me, Home from the Hill, Hotel, House by the River, Alex Trebek's favorite movie, How Green Was My Valley. How to Marry a Millionaire. I Like Your Nerve. The Ice Storm. Illegal and The Big Steel. I don't know why I put this one under I and not under B because I got this for The Big Steel. So maybe I'll rearrange that. I don't know. What do you guys think? In the Heat of the Night classic. An intermezzo on Blu-ray. Now in this corner here I have an Ilya Kazan box set which I made a video about and I believe it's on this channel. I made it a long time ago. So just to show you the back of it. And inside the set you have this beautiful book. Sort of like a picture book on Ilya Kazan's career. And then you have this booklet with the actual movies. So this is a documentary by Martin Scorsese, A Letter to Ilya, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Boomerang. You'll see there's like some design over here. Gentleman's Agreement, Pinky, Panic in the Streets is one of my favorites. A Streetcar Named Desire, Viva Sabata and Man on a Tightrope, On the Waterfront, East of Eden, two discs. Baby Doll, one of my favorites, and A Face in the Crowd. Wild River and Splendor in the Grass. An America, America. And that's that set. And the next set I have um, in this corner over here is this Murnau, Barzaghi, and Fox box set, which uh, when I started blogging, um, you know, over 13 years ago, this was like the one thing that everyone when wanted. You remove these sections here and you get this booklet inside. There's a book in, in the first sleeve. Then you have all of the movies here. You got Sunrise, City Girl, Lazy Bones. This is a beautiful set. They don't make sets like this anymore. Seventh Heaven, Street Angel, Lucky Star. I'll just say Criterion would make something like this, but otherwise you wouldn't find anything like this. They had to see Paris, Song of My Heart, and Lilium. Bad Girl, After Tomorrow, and this is a documentary about the three directors. And then another book in the back here. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom row. Okay, next up is Intruder in the Dust, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Olive Collection, Signature Edition, It's a Dog's Life, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, Dual Format Edition from Criterion, It's Love I'm After, Jacuzzi, Jackass Mail, Jazz on a Summer's Day, which I recently talked about on my channel, 
keep your powder dry. Johnny doesn't live here anymore. The Killing on Criterion. And I know this is kind of a random um, follow-up, okay? The Killing, and then you have Knocked Up. <laughs> a Lady of Chance. The Lady Vanishes. The Last Command, both Blu-ray. The Last Kiss. The Last of Sheila. Leave Her to Heaven, Criterion Blu-ray, which I recently did a Criterion haul with this one. Um, Lay Divorce and Letter from an Unknown Woman, Olive Signature Blu-ray Edition. Okay, and then we have The Lion in Winter, Blu-ray Edition from Kino Lorber, Lisbon, The Little Mermaid, one of my um, childhood favorites on Blu-ray, The Liquidator, one of my absolute favorite movies of all time, Lonesome, a Criterion Blu-ray, The Long Long Trailer, the Lost Weekend, Blu-ray from Kino, Love Actually, Love in the Rough, which is a golf musical, believe it or not, The Lusty Men, and the classic Criterion Collection, Macau, Madame Zayn, Madame X, the Maltese Falcon, which I have several copies of, and this one has um, the original from 1931 and Satan Meant Lady in addition to, to this one. Man Called Adam, which I talked about recently on my channel. I don't know why I got this one. Man from God's Country. I have no clue why I have it. But I know why I have this one, Manhunt, because it's one of my favorite World War II movies, and it's one of my favorite Fritz Lang movies. The Man Who Dared in Marlowe. Okay, here we have Marie Antoinette. Marty, which is a which is an amazing movie. Don't let anyone tell you this is a non-film. This is a great movie. If you know, you know. Meet Me in Las Vegas. Metropolis. You'll see that I have a lot of Fritz Lang movies. Um, Mildred Pierce. This might seem a little odd for me, but it's not because I'm actually a really big Harmony Korin fan. Um, Mr. Lonely, I love this movie. Ministry of Fear. The Miracle Worker. Mr. Capra Goes to War. Mr. Blandings Builds His Dream House. I also have the Blu-ray, which I'll show you later. Mr. Rico. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. The Mummy. And My Man Godfrey, which my friend Frank gave me those. Um, the Mystery of the Wax Museum. Act of Violence and Mystery Street. And I have this under M because Mystery Street is the reason why I got this. The Narrow Margin. Nation Time. Never So Few. And Niagara. And here I have Night and the City. Night Court, one of my favorite Robert Mitchum movies, and this is just an amazing classic film, The Night of the Hunter, Criterion, Not as a Stranger, Nothing Sacred, another personal favorite, now Voyager, it's a documentary, Obit, Life on Deadline, I absolutely adore this movie, Odds Against Tomorrow, Office Space, a must, Once a Thief, God awful movie. They're not all good movies, guys. One Minute to Zero. Outside the Law. Pick Up on South Street. This one's excellent. Picture of Dorian Gray. This is um, Pillow Talk um, DVD. I also have the Blu-ray. The DVD is just not really great quality, but the Blu-ray is much better. So I'll show you the Blu-ray later. The Portrait. And there's a reason why the Blu-ray is not here. It's in, it's in another section. Port of Shadows. Portrait in Black on Blu-ray. A recent favorite of mine, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I saw this at the Toronto International Film Festival and fell in love with it. The Prisoner of Second Avenue. Private Lives. Okay, here. next up, Professional Sweetheart. Promises to Keep, which has three Mitchums in one film. The Prize on Blu-ray, Rafiki, Rafifi, 
Red Dust, personal favorite. The Red Shoes. Red Sun. The Pink Horse, oh, sorry. Ride the Pink Horse, Criterion Collection Blu-ray. Rio Grande, Olive Signature Edition on Blu-ray. Road to Morocco. The Rules of the Game. The Russians are coming, the Russians are coming on Blu-ray. Saboteur, R.I.P. Norman Lloyd, who is absolutely amazing in this film as the actual saboteur. Sadie McKee, Safe in Hell, Safety Last Blu-ray, which is a must-have, Saratoga, The Secret Garden, and Sergeant York. My husband recently got this for me. This is Remains of the Day and Sense and Sensibility. And the reason he got it for me is Sense and Sensibility because I love that movie. That's why it's under S. Seven Days in May Blu-ray. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, which looks absolutely freaking fantastic on Blu-ray. The Seven Year Itch. This is a Shaft um, triple feature with Shaft, Shaft's Big Score, and Shaft in Africa. Since You Went Away, Blu-ray. Singing in the Rain, which I have like several copies of. Song of Russia. Sorority House. Soylent Green is people. Spartacus. Stalag 17. I have not seen this in a long time. I'm due for a, a rewatch. Strangers on a Train. Strangers When We Meet, I love this one. Strictly Dynamite, this is god awful. Um, I got this for the Mills Brothers only. <laughs> um, Strawberry Blonde. Stan and Ollie, Carl Sweeney and I have the movie um, Palace Podcast did an episode on his podcast about this. I'll link it down below. Stay Hungry, which is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. So I reviewed that on my blog. Strange Bedfellows. Suddenly, all, I mean, all of these I've reviewed on my blog. Sylvia Scarlet, oh, I love that movie. And The Tall Lie, it's also got a second name for men only. This is um, a movie that Paul Henri starred in and directed. I have a couple box sets saved in this corner, which I'll show you now. This is Best of Warner Brothers 50 film collection. It opens from the bottom and it's got these two um, booklets in here with Blu-rays my best to show you with one hand here. Grand Hotel, Mutiny on the Bounty, The Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, The Maltese Falcon, Mrs. Miniver, Casablanca. You're going to see that I have duplicates of a lot because of box sets. The Treasure of Sierra Madre, A Streetcar Named Desire, An American in Paris, Singing in the Rain Again, oops, GG, hopefully I can do this, um, North by Northwest, Ben-Hur, two discs for Ben-Hur, How the West Was Won, Dr. Zhivago again, Cool Hand Luke, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Bullet, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Dirty Harry, a Clockwork Orange. Oh my God, I forgot this was in here. I was just thinking the other day I wanted to watch this movie and I'm like, oh, I own it, duh. Um, the Exorcist, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Superman the Movie, that's that one for the first one. And then I'm gonna move this over so we can see this a little better. This is the second volume. Very dramatic over here. Um, okay, second volume, The Shining, Chariots of Fire. Oh my God, I forgot I had this too, wow. I need to look through my stuff more often. Risky Business, Amadeus, The Color Purple, Lethal Weapon, Full Metal Jacket is a recent favorite of mine, I love this movie. Driving Miss Daisy, Goodfellas, Unforgiven, the Bodyguard, Natural Born Killers, Shaw The Shawshank Redemption, The Matrix, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 
the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, and the Two Towers, and the Return of the King, Million Dollar Baby, The Departed, I'm from Boston, so I have to say it that way, The Dark Knight, The Hangover, oh my god, I forgot The Hangover was in this set, I, this is one of my absolute top favorite movies, I love raunchy comedies, The Blind Side, Sherlock Holmes, Inception, oh, I hope I'm not breaking this, in a bonus disc, um, which is um, two documentaries, Tales from the Warner Brothers Lot and the Warner Brothers Lot Tour. Okay, now on to the Humphrey Bogart, The Essential Collection. Um, you've got here The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse, Invisible Stripes, High Sierra, They Drive by Night, San Quentin, The Roaring Twenties, Dark Victory, Virginia City, the Petrified Forest, Marked Woman, Kid Galahad, Black Legion, Dark Passage, Key Largo, Casablanca again, The Treasure of Sierra Madre, The Maltese Falcon, Across the Pacific, All Through the Night, Brother Orchid, Action in the North Atlantic, Par Passage to Marseille, uh, To Have and Have Not, The Big Sleep, and then there's like a collection here of um, postcards. Um, this has this is a little booklet here. And then this is a documentary, The Brothers Warner. Puppy break. Hi, Raleigh. Okay, before I show you what's in this cabinet, um, I'm going to show you what I have on top. So here are some DVD Netflix um, movies that I've, I've rented and I'm watching soon. This is Greta Gerwig's um, adaptation of Little Women. Here's Shoe Shine uh, from 1946. It's an Italian movie. And Monsieur Vincent from 1947, a French film. And I have a nice little stack of extra Bachelor Mother DVDs here. This is a recent haul of Kino Lorber's um, Last Chance Sale. I believe that's what it's called. So I have here um, The Organization with Sidney Poitier. Harry in Your Pocket with James Coburn. These are Blu-rays. Foreign Intrigue with Robert Mitchum. Woman of Straw with my girl Gina Lola Brigida. Paris Blues, Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, Cindy Poitier, and Diane Carroll. And I love this film, Across 110th Street with Yafet Koto and Anthony Quinn. This one I won't go through just because I'm going to make a separate video on this, but this is a stack of Mae West Blu-rays from Kino Lober, and I'm going to do a haul video and review on this channel. And then here, let me just move these over are some recent um, Warner Archive uh, DVD, uh, sorry, Blu-rays that I got for review. First up is The Yearling. Uh, they Won't Believe Me, which I has been recently restored with an additional 15 minutes, I believe, so I can't wait to watch this one. And I mentioned this earlier, Mr. Blandings builds his dream house, and this is the Blu-ray. Okay, here is the second cabinet, as you can see. And at the top here, it continues with the um, media baskets that I got from Container Store. I have six of them here. So it continues in alphabetical order to, till the end, till Z of my um, individual film collection. I have one um, basket of just favorites, and then the rest are um, um, box sets that are pretty thin that can fit in these. And then I have a bag over here with some not so legal movies. I'll sh only show you a few of those. And then down here I have um, these big containers of um, DVD and Blu-ray box sets. This one is just movies and this one is a mix of movies and TV. Okay, first up here we have Tea and Sympathy, Tender Comrade, Their Own Desire, these Amazing Shadows, the movies that make America, excellent documentary. These Glamour Girls, The Third Man, 13 Women, Three Daring Daughters, The Tiger, the Tiger of Eshnapur and the Indian Tomb, which are Fritz Lang's final movies, Till the End of Time, 
Tish Topaz to Sir with Love. I have lots of Sidney Poitier films. Trapeze, also a lot of Gina LaBrigida films. Trial. Two Weeks in Another Town. Under Capricorn. Underwater. Vertigo. The VIPs. The Way West. Okay, this is the last basket of individual films in alphabetical order. Got The Ugly Truth. Wallflower. The Wedding Guest, which actually you can see this quote right here is mine. This is from my site, Kel Movie. So I'm literally on the cover of this Blu-ray. So of course I had to get that. The Whales of August. Where the Boys Are, DVD and Blu-ray. Looks excellent on Blu-ray. While the City Sleeps, now the Fritz Lang. Wings of the Navy. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Why Be Good? The Will Be Conspiracy. Ah, Sidney Poitier and Michael Caine, two of my favorite people. Wind Across the Everglades. Woman, The Woman in the Window. I actually just saw the Netflix um, movie, The Woman in the Window, but this is a completely different story. Love this one. Woman Wanted. The World of Flesh and the Devil. The World of Henry Orient, The Wrath of God, The Yakuza, Young Ideas, The Young in Heart, The Young Victoria, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, and yes, I love raunchy comedies and this is a favorite. And the last one, Zaza. You might be wondering, hey, where's your copy of, you know, Bachelor Mother or Out of the Past or The Setup? And it's because I have all of my top favorite movies. These are just like the ones that I love the most, the ones that I like to watch over and over again. I have them all in one basket, just makes them easier to find. And also I just like to have all my favorites in one area. So first up is Bachelor Mother, of course. Call Me By Your Name on Blu-ray, Christmas in Connecticut, Good News. This is Harold and Lillian, A Hollywood Love Story on Blu-ray, and this happens to be signed by Lillian Michelson herself, by the director Daniel Rame, and by the producer Jennifer Rame. Holiday Affair on Blu-ray and on DVD. If a Man Answers, this Nancy Drew set, which has Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase, Nancy Drew Troubleshooter, Nancy Drew Detective, and Nancy Drew Reporter. And I love, I love these movies so much. Out of the Past Blu-ray, A Patch of Blue Blu-ray, and I had mentioned this earlier, Pillow Talk um, Blu-ray. The only reason I don't have the DVD in here, because the DVD is not very good quality, but the, the Blu-ray is. So I just wanted to make sure that I have this readily accessible. And I believe this is a multi-disc set. So it has both the DVD and the Blu-ray in it. I could probably just get rid of the other one, but I don't usually get rid of movies in my collection. The Portrait of a Lady Blu-ray. If you know me, you know this is a super important movie, to me at least. Rear Window, River of No Return, The Setup on Blu-ray, I absolutely love that movie. And then I have two copies of Tony Rome, Tony Rome on Blu-ray, and then this set um, from Twilight Time, which no longer exists, but when they um, released this, um, Tony Rome, and then the sequel, Lady in Cement, um, I had to grab it because I love Tony Rome. Woman of the Year, The Women, Yours, Mine, and Ours, 
and you've got mail on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. This is one of like the very first DVDs I ever purchased. To save time, since I have a lot of box sets to go through, I'm just gonna show you um, the outside of them. I'm not gonna talk about every single movie that's inside each, um, and I'm not gonna open them up, so I'm just gonna show you the outside. I have two of these Fox Studio Classics. And this one here. I'm gonna set these aside to make some more room. Okay, this is The Best of Bud Abbott and Luca Stello, Volume 1. The Alice Howell Collection. I have both sets of the Andy Hardy Film Collection from Warner Archive. It's number two. Warner Brothers Big Band Jazz and Swing, Short Subject Collection. This my boss gave me as a graduation present, Billy Wilder Film Collection. This is the Bruce Lee, the, his greatest hits, um, Blu-ray um, box set from the Criterion channel, which came out last year, I believe. I did um, a Criterion haul with that. The Cary Grant Film Collection, which has quite a lot of movies in it. This is... Um, when TCM made box sets, um, the TCM Spotlight Charlie Chan collection. Ah! Dr. Kildare movie collection. And this is when Lou Ayers was in the series. And then when um, basically they kicked him out because of World War II and he was kind of um, an objector. They moved on to um, focusing on um, Lionel Barrymore as Dr. Gillespie. So that's this collection. This is another of those um, TCM Spotlight um, box sets. This is Errol Flynn Adventures. And then um, here are the two the Falcon Mystery Movie Collections Volume 1, which has um, the films that George Sanders was in, and then he hands it off to his brother Tom Conway um, with this one, with the Falcon's brother, and then he continues on, and this is the second one. Okay, here we have the Forbidden Hollywood Collection sets. Here's Volume 1, Volume 2, oops, Volume 3, Volume four. I mean, this would take forever to go through all of these. So here's volume six. Oh, where was five? Oh, five's over here. Let me fix that. Here's five. And then six. And then I'm missing seven. Seven is somewhere. I think I was watching seven for a project. So seven would go right here. Then we have eight, nine, and 10. The Glenda Farrell triple feature, Guy Kibbe tri triple feature, Hildegard, Hildegard Withers mystery collection. I reviewed these two on my blog. I love this set. Um, the Warner Brothers and the Homefront collection with this is the Army, Thank You Lucky Stars, and Hollywood Canteen. So if you like um, World War II um, Homefront stuff, that's really fun to watch. This is um, TCM did these. Um, value sets that were sold at like Barnes and Nobles and different places and this one is the Gene Harlow one with four movies. I won this in a giveaway actually. This is a Jerry Lewis um, box set with 10 of his movies and then this is the Joan Blondell Glenda Farrell double feature. Okay this is the last basket of the box sets. This is one of those TCM value sets. This is a Kirk Douglas one which I got mostly because I really wanted Young Man with a Horn. This is out of print, and this is just so delightful. I wish it was back in print. Um, this is the another TCM Spotlight collection, and it's the Myrna Loy and William Powell collection. So it's pretty much all of their movies that they made together that weren't Thin Man movies. And then I have this collection of Nell Shipman movies. The Robert Benchley um, miniature collections uh, collection. It's some of the, some of the great like short comedies that he made. This is a Robert Mitchum film collection box set with lots and lots of movies in it. 
This is um, Warner Brothers Romance Classics Collection, one of the earliest box sets I got to re review, which is great. And another one I got to review too. Um, it even has the note from the publicist who sent it to me, um, the Sydney Poitier Collection. This is a Kino Lorber set, Tony Curtis Collection uh, with four Blu-rays. This is a complete set of the Thin Man movies. This is out of print, um, but this is really great. The complete Thin Man collection there. And I have volume one of the um, James A. Fitzpatrick Travel Talks. Um, these little travel shorts that are really nice. This I got to review a long time ago. Ultimate Gangsters Collection with four movies. And then I have two Vitaphone um, sets. The first one is Vitaphone Cavalcade of Musical Comedy. And then this one I got recently, Vitaphone Varieties Volume 3, 1928 to 1929. So I have a collection of movies in this Avita bag, which I keep in here on purpose because it fits them all quite nicely. And it's also very nondescript. Like if somebody's going to steal my stuff, they're probably not going to steal this old Avita bag, um, but in here are movies that were um, recorded on discs for me and almost all of them are not available in on DVD or Blu-ray for various reasons, usually copyright reasons. Um, and mostly these are ones that my friend uh, Jonas made for me, but other friends have also made movies for me and I've also recorded some off of TCM um, that were just like one-time showings. So this is like a really rare collection. I'm not going to show you this um, because I'm sure YouTube might take it down <laughs> if I do, but I'll just show you some of the rare films that I have in this collection. Like um, these are not going to be available anytime soon, like follow through, I believe. This is another golf musical. I love this. It has a really great number with Zelma O'Neill in it. Um, and it's uh, two strip Technicolor. It's not available due to some rights reasons here. And then we all know Letty Linton, you know, it's there's a copyright um, dispute because it basically stole, stole someone else's story. Um, so this is very, very difficult to find. And I have, a, it's not a great quality, but my friend Jonas made these for me, which I really appreciate. And then this one, Good News, this is the original Good News from 1930. I love this version so much. Um, it's not available anywhere, I believe for rights reasons. And also the ending is missing, um, the big like musical number at the very end. So it really can't be released. Um, so I have that. And then this one, The Wild Party, which uh, my friend Paul sent me. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Just two more baskets to go. We've got here the Ida Lupino Filmmaker Collection set, which I reviewed on my blog. I have this one a friend gave to me, the Cecil B. DeMille Collection. There are the films. This I got on sale back when I used to shop Amazon. Um, the Marx Brothers Collection. Let's see the films there. This one, I used to buy up box sets on sale a lot. And this is, um, this is one of them. I got a great deal on the Tennessee Williams Film Collection. And there are the movies there. I have like multiple copies of Baby Doll. Um, but yeah, it's a great set. And this one I got for review from Warner Brothers. Back when they used to make these really nice box sets. This is a 20 film collection musical set. Oh, this one's out of order, but this has a bunch of movies on it. Look how many. This is the Buzz, Busby Berkeley collection. This is one of my favorite box sets. And this I also got a really great deal on. Here are the movies. Gold Diggers of 1933 is my favorite of the bunch. And then, of course, Val Luton. I mean, if you're a classic movie fan, you love Val Luton movies. So this is the Val Luton Horror Collection, Nine Tales of Terror from the Legendary Producer. And my favorite of these is Cat People, but so many good ones on here. And then this is like the first box set I ever purchased of classic movies. This is Film Noir Classic Collection, Five Timeless Suspense Thrillers. And that's how I first got a copy of Out of the Past and the Setup. But look, look at this color. These are the OGs of film noir. So this is 
really great classic set. And um, Warner Archive Collection made um, like an aversion of this in a smaller set. Okay, this basket has a bunch of stuff, in, mostly television. So this is the Darling Buds of May DVD set, all of the seasons. I love this show. This um, I reviewed on my blog, Pioneers, First Women Filmmakers. It's a great Kino Lorber um, Blu-ray set of all sorts of silent movies directed, written, produced by women. And then this is the very first DVD I ever purchased, ever, 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 which is Pride and Prejudice. This is the miniseries from 1995 starring Colin Firth and Jennifer Ellie. I love this movie so much. I call it a movie. It's a mini series, but I call it a five hour movie, essentially. Um, and then the I have reviews of these on my blog. Um, the Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, the Vault series. I have The Office. Um, this is the UK version. And then I have um, a few seasons or a couple seasons of the first of the US one. So I have season two, season three. I might have season one somewhere, I'm not sure. So, oh, and then I have the Odd Couple TV show, which I love. I love Jack Klugman and Tony Randall. I have this, I literally just wanted to watch The Monkees and I went to my local Barnes and Noble and just bought this. It was complete, just like one of those days where I just really needed to watch The Monkees and it wasn't available anywhere. So, A for, for um, for physical media so that's there that's that and then um some more obscure really obscure stuff like i'm a huge fan of Mad Men, but we have a complete set somewhere else of blu-rays um, i have the vicar of dibley um, the reunion special and then the full set of the original seasons this is just a spanish language um collection of of um cooking shows from one of my favorite channels that unfortunately no longer exists. I have a few of the seasons of Mr. Selfridge, which I love that show. Then I have all of the seasons of As Time Goes By, except for one of the reunion specials, which I don't like, um, but I have pretty much the whole set. And I don't know if anyone remembers this show, but I have Road to Avonlea, and I didn't buy all of them. I just bought four, six, and seven. And then over here, I have Rowan and Martin's Laugh In. This is the second season. I have a review of this on my site. I won this in a giveaway, Sesame Street Old School. And um, I would have been watching it around the end of this. So this, is, this, this was fun for nostalgia purposes. And then I have another of the Tonight Show um, sets. This is Tonight Show, Johnny Carson, Johnny and Friends. Well, that's the tour. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.